college teachers are bombarded with acronyms and phrases that tend to blur and overlap. What do all these words mean? And how do they affect us as teachers? Just like the student would ask, is this really important and will it be on the test? The answer is yes, and I am here to deliver the goods on what we need to know to create, revise, and deliver curriculum that is of the highest quality and conforms to standards set by the post-secondary education branch of the Government of Ontario. Welcome to Program Standards 101, what every college teacher needs to know but was afraid to ask. Let's start with the acronyms. You may have seen some of these acronyms before, but really didn't know what they stood for. Here we go. ESO, E-E-S-O, stands for Essential Employability Skills Outcomes. VLO, stands for Vocational Learning Outcomes. MTCU, stands for Ministry of Training Colleges and Universities. And Gen Ed, General Education. Now we know what they stand for, but what do they mean? Where did they come from? And what do they have to do with me as a teacher in my classroom? Let's start from the beginning. The Ministry of Education in Ontario has a post-secondary branch called the MTCU. Remember, Ministry of Training Colleges and Universities. The MTCU has established program standards for college programs that lead to an Ontario College credential, either a certificate, a diploma, or an advanced diploma. Program standards have three parts. The VLOs, or Vocational Learning Outcomes, Gen Ed, or General Education Courses, and the ESOs, or Essential Employability Skill Outcomes. Let's talk about VLOs first, Vocational Learning Outcomes. Vocational Learning Outcomes are simply the performances expected of graduates specific to their discipline. This fellow is in the Culinary Management Program. One of the Vocational Learning Outcomes states that the graduate will have reliably demonstrated the ability to Provide fundamental culinary planning, preparation, and presentation to a variety of food service environments. How do we know if a student achieves this outcome? This is where you come in. Yes, you, the professor. Meet Ted. Ted is part of a team of students that have organized a special event barbecue on campus to complete an assignment in their food preparation course. You are the professor teaching food preparation. The assignment you created allows you to evaluate the student's ability to provide fundamental culinary planning, preparation, and presentation to a variety of food service environments. Being the great professor you are, you have developed co course learning outcomes and evaluation methods that are observable and measurable and that align with the vocational learning outcomes of the program standards for the culinary program. Congratulations! So to recap, vocational learning outcomes are the skills that the graduate should be able to do at the end of a program. And the only way to be sure that the student can complete these skills accurately and successfully is to evaluate them. So I'm sure you are wondering how you get these vocational learning outcomes for your program and who made them. Some colleges publish their vocational learning outcomes on their course outlines and others may have them in their program guides. But they are also available on the Ministry of Training Colleges and University website under Program Standards. As to who made them, the MTCU gathers a panel of experts such as employers, professional associations, program graduates working in the field, as well as students, faculty, and administrators at the college themselves. This team represents a consensus of participating stakeholders on the essential learning that all program graduates should have achieved for the specific vocation.
Let's move on to the second part of program standards, essential employability skill outcomes. Remember Ted? Ted scored very well on his ability to barbecue sausages to perfection during the special event assignment. Unfortunately, Ted scored very poorly on the part of the assignment regarding his ability to work well in a team. Ted needs to work on his essential employability skills. Essential employability skill outcomes are learning outcomes that describe skills critical for success in life and in the workplace, irrespective of career area. For example, the ability to work in a team. Essential employability skill outcomes are divided into six categories with a total of 11 outcomes. The MTCU mandates that graduates from all programs, regardless of the length of the program, must meet all 11 essential employability outcomes at least once during the course of the entire program. What are these 11 skills? Well, you can find the answer on the MTCU website or you can ask your curriculum support person at your college. Just like vocational learning outcomes, the only way to know if a student can perform these skills successfully is to evaluate them. The third part of the program standards are general education courses. Any student enrolled in a diploma or advanced diploma program must take three to five general education courses in order to graduate from their program. So what exactly are general education courses? General education courses contribute to the development of citizens who are conscious of the diversity, complexity, and richness of the human experience and the society in which they live and work. There are five specific themes for general education courses to cover. Arts and society, civic life, social and cultural understanding, personal understanding, and science and technology. Remember, program standards published by the MTCU ensure that all programs in Ontario colleges are of the highest quality and relevant to the needs of both the employers and students. There are three parts to program standards. The vocational learning outcomes. All college graduates must have the key vocational skills that will help them find employment in their field of study. And the essential employability skill outcomes and gen ed. They also need the broader skills and knowledge that will give them flexibility and allow them to continue to learn and adapt throughout their working lives. Your job as a college professor is to develop and deliver curriculum that aligns to the program standards so our students will graduate from programs with the skills they need in order to be successful. So that's program standards in a nutshell.